Now let's take a quick look how we implement with the profiling of indoor air quality. This is a stand-up office, 4,000 square feet with one single aircon system. And if you want to test the air quality, very simple. Master unit here, and then you can put wireless sensor unit at different sampling point. This is this instrument, and this can pass the signal from the instrument in the outside, and it records and stores it inside there, and the engine can take it out any time. And then it can instantaneously pass the signal over the building management system, and the building management system can pass the signal to air conditioning control and make changes. So by automation, that's what I put in my summary. And if you've got a big place, several offices like this, they can always see a sign that building service management can see any point from his computer in his office. He doesn't need to go around. And also from here, you can extend the whole system to, to the entire building. And that it goes into the building computer and a building computer can pass information if you're a government, if you're a consultant, anybody who wants to see it, or if you want to allow him to see it, you can pass on the information. That is what I tell automatic. You don't need a certificate, which the government issue once a year. Once you get the certificate, you can block off all the fresh air supply to save energy. Now, the last example, this one, uh, last year, uh, we did an exhibition at the big exhibition hall uh, in the airport. So we just put one of these instruments which takes seven monitor the air quality of, based on seven parameters. You can on the screen all the seven parameters displayed here. And let us pick this one, the temperature, and you can expand it easily. Day one, the day we went in to set up the instrument. Day two is the first day of exhibition. Day three, day four, day five, the day we move out. This is night, this daytime, night, daytime, they turn off the aircon. Next, if you want to magnify it, pick that section. 10 o'clock in the morning, half past six in the afternoon, the time people enter, the palm tree left. And this red line represents the computer can draw it for you, the average. And you can see that in a big hall with air con conditioned, this red line stays between 24 to 24.5. Very well controlled the air con air temperature. Now, this is the most irregular, the profile for Maldehyde. Let us magnify it. And also, this day is the worst. Let's pick this section during the exhibition time, what happened? And also, the computer can draw the average based on this. No manipulation. You can see it right away. There's a furniture exhibition just right next to us. For my height, basically come from the furniture. Also, we found out past the building of for my height is a very low level. 1,000 times a building is one million. At this level, you start measuring this two types of inherent uh, variation. One is the inherent variation due to nature, because in nature everything comes on weight, just like your water. If you magnify it enough, your water is always has got some weight. Your sound, your noise, your color, even for my time, it comes on weight, okay? Another type of inherent variation is electrical noise, noise variation due to the sensor, Okay, so that you have to take into consideration of the, all those. Yeah. And every minute, uh, we take one reading. And so that for, uh, for eight hours, we have 480 readings. Each reading based on thousands of readings. So that, that eliminates all the errors. Yeah. Statistically, we got several thousands of readings to get the average out. As opposed to what the government calls for, or four readings within eight hours. We are taking thousands and thousands of readings, so that it is very sensitive and very accurate. But of course, we still need to improve.